Tuesday morning. Welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. I am so delighted to be back home and able to make a fresh devotional to share with you today. As you know, last Friday morning we loaded the old uh, camper van up and took off for Cuba, Alabama. And the reason that we went to Cuba, Alabama was to go to a church homecoming. Now you've got to ask yourself, why would you load up a van and drive uh, 750 miles one way with a wife that doesn't travel very well and a uh, pocketbook that gets a little thin sometimes. Uh, I hate to be away from my own church on Sunday. It just breaks my heart to be away from my people on Sunday morning. But why would we do what we did? Well, a little excitement, maybe so. I love to travel and I always find it exciting to travel, but you know, I could go just any direction if it were just merely travel, and I could have even gone somewhere that was a shorter distance where I could have spent more time at my destination than I was able to spend. So we've got to ask why did we make the trip that we made this past weekend at uh, some sacrifice of being away from our own loved ones here and, and financial sacrifice and etc. Why would we do it? Well, it's a love for the brethren. I had heard that they were having a homecoming at a church that I had pastored and been highly honored to have pastored and taken great joy in pastoring. And I tell you, those people from the very beginning, and that's been, uh, what, 1973, so we're looking at uh, a long time ago that uh, we went down to Alabama to take up that pastorate, but we fell in love with those people from the very start. We found them very charming. We found them so terribly supportive of our ministry that down across the years and even the years that we've been gone, which has been about 33 years now, we still find that these people at the Cuba Church of God Holiness are very dear to our heart. They were so loving and they were so patient and they were so kind. I remarked to a couple of them, uh, while I was there, you southern people, you seem to have a knack for forgetting all the stupid things a guy does and remembering only the good things. And he looked at me in all sincerity, the gentleman did, and he said, I don't remember you doing anything stupid. And I said, see what I mean? You have the ability to forget the wrong things that I did and only remember the good. And so, you know, we wanted to go down because we love people. And I think about the love that God gives us for one another. Jesus said, By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, because you love one another. He said that if you say that you love God and hate your brother, uh, you really don't love God. How dwelleth the love of God in you if you hate your brother? And that doesn't necessarily mean to despise or detest. It just means that we just simply don't have the love of God for them. But I thank God for the love that he gives. And you know the love that caused us to want to be with people of former year, the love that took us across those many miles on a tiring, expensive trip, it's the love that God shed abroad in our heart for one another. And I thank God for the love that I have for people today people that have supported me in my ministry, people that have stood behind me through the good times and the bad times, people that uh, had a way of, of uh, taking a 10-cent sermon and convincing you that it was worth a million dollars. It's that kind of love that motivates us to want to be with others. And we wanted to be with our loved ones in Alabama. We wanted to join with them in a homecoming service in sweet fellowship and worship once again. So you know, it's love that motivates us to do a lot of what we as Christians do. And this is not the love that parents have for their children and children have for their parents. It's the love of God that is shed abroad in our heart that causes us to love one another. You know, one of the things that caught the attention of the world back in the days of Christ, when they said of the disciples, behold, how they love one another. And there's nothing in the world like Christian love. I love my people where I'm at just as much as I've loved anybody in my life, but it was the love for the Southern people that took me this weekend to be a part of their homecoming service. 
And I thank God for that privilege I had, and I thank God for those people. Heavenly Father, thank you for the love that you give us one for another, a love that covers a multitude of sin. Lord, a love that endures despite uh, the different things that come our way and try perhaps to break up that love. There is a love that thou hast put within the hearts of your children toward one another that is like no other love in the world. We thank thee, Lord, that we love as Christ loved. Go with us throughout this day. Have your way. Bless each one of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I enjoyed sharing with you, and I'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.